The night which follows I remember brokenly. I remember that I keep at the side of the bed with my eyes quite hidden and will not rise and go down to the kitchen as Mrs. Suxby wishes. I remember that Richard comes to me and again puts his shoe to my skirts to nudge me, then stands and laughs when I will not stir, then leaves me. I remember that someone brings me soup, which I will not eat, that the lamp is taken away and the room made dark, that I must rise at last to visit the privy, and that the red-haired, fat-faced girl, dainty, is made to show me to it, then stands at the door to keep me from running from it into the night. I remember that I weep again and am given more of my drops in brandy, that I am undressed and put in a nightgown, not my own, that I sleep, perhaps for an hour, that I am woken by the rustling of taffeta, that I look in horror to see Mrs. Suxby with her hair let down, shrugging off her gown, uncovering flesh and dirty linen, snuffing out her candle, then climbing into the bed beside me.